Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of our channel RG Innovations. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button and select all to get all future notifications of our video uploads. In today's video, we are going to discuss about DS1302 real-time clock module. First we will discuss what is a real-time clock module and then we will discuss in detail about DS1302 module and then we will see practical example how to use the DS1302 module. So first let us know what is a real-time clock module. A real-time clock module or RTC module is an electronic component that provides accurate timekeeping functions typically including the ability to track time that is hours, minutes and seconds and date that is day, month and year even when the main system is powered off. RTC modules are used in a wide range of applications to maintain accurate time across power cycles or in systems where accurate timekeeping is essential. Here are some common RTC modules used in hobbyist and embedded electronic projects. DS1302 it is a 3-wire RTC module with trickle charge support for backup power. We will discuss in detail later. DS1307 A simple RTC module with I2C interface and backup battery support. In our next video, we will discuss about this module. DS3231 It is an advanced RTC with a temperature compensated crystal oscillator for higher accuracy and backup battery support. We will also discuss about this in our next video. What are the core features of a RTC module? The first and foremost feature is timekeeping. RTC modules track the time in hours, minutes and seconds and often date information such as day, month and year. Backup power. RTC modules often contain a dedicated battery backup, usually a coin cell battery, to keep the clock running when the main power supply is turned off or interrupted. Communication interface. They are designed to interface with microcontrollers or other control systems via serial communication protocols like I2C, SPI or similar. Low power consumption. RTC modules are designed to operate with low power, especially in backup mode, to extend the life of backup batteries. Clock correction. Some RTC modules can adjust for leap year and track the day of the week with some even handling daylight saving time automatically. Some common applications of an RTC module Embedded systems RTC modules are widely used in microcontroller based projects to maintain accurate time. Data logging RTC modules provide timestamps for data logs essential in data collection and analysis applications. Alarms and timers They are often used to set alarms, timers and schedule events in embedded projects. Clocks and time display RTC modules are common in electronic clock, digital watches and other time display devices. So these are the basic properties of a RTC module. Now we will move on to DS1302 RTC module. DS1302 is a Dallas company launched a trickle current clock chip containing a real-time clock calendar and 31 bytes of static RAM, communicating through serial interface, simple and single chip microcomputer. The real-time clock or calendar circuit provides seconds, hours, days, weeks, months, years for information. A number of days in the month and leap year can automatically adjust. The clock operation instructions through the AMPM decided to use 24 or 12 hour format. In this picture, we can see the DS1302 module based on a single chip. These are the pins for power supply, these two pins for power supply and these three pins for data connection. And we use this type of a battery for the backup power supply. Now what are the clock functions of DS1302 module? The first and foremost function is timekeeping that is track seconds, minutes and hours. Calendar tracks the day of the month, year and the day of the week. 12 or 24 hour format supports both 12 hour with AM PM and 24 hour formats. Leap year capable of compensating for leap year up to 2100. Communication interface of DS1302 module utilizes a simple 3 wire interface for communication with a microcontroller. There are three pin one is clock that is serial clock or SCLC, IO or data pin bi directional data line for communication, and RST pin that is reset line to initiate communication and the data transfer mode is serial data transfer in both write and read modes. Now the power and backup main power supply. This module typically operates at 5 volt or 3.3 volt depending on the system. 
ट्रिकल चार्ज फीचर अ ट्रिकल चार्ज सर्किट अलाउिंग टू यूज अ बैकअप पावर सोर्स फॉर मेंटेनिंग टाइम वेन द मेन पावर इज ऑफ बैकअप पावर दिस मॉड्यूल यूजेस अ क्वाइंसल बैटरी लाइक सी आर टू जीरो थ्री टू फॉर बैकअप पावर एंड द इलेक्ट्रिकल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑपरेटिंग वोल्टेज टिपिकल इन द रेंज ऑफ टू वोल्ट टू फाइव पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट पावर कंजम्पन इन एक्टिव मोड इज टिपिकली वन पॉइंट टू मिली एम्पियर एट फाइव वोल्ट एंड इन बैकअप मोड टिपिकली थ्री हंड्रेड नैनो एम्पियर टू फाइव हंड्रेड नैनो एम्पियर विच इज वेरी 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 लेस क्लॉक फ्रिक्वेंसी यूटिलाइजेस अ थर्टी टू पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स एट किलो हर्ज क्रिस्टल ऑसिलेटर फॉर टाइम कीपिंग ऑपरेटिंग टेम्परेचर इज जेनरली जीरो डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड टू सेवेंटी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड स्टोरेज टेम्परेचर इज टिपिकली माइनस फिफ्टी फाइव डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड टू वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड मेमोरी फीचर द डी एस वन थ्री जीरो टू रियल टाइम क्लॉक चिप इंक्लूड्स अ स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ स्टैटिक रैम दैट कैन बी यूज फॉर जेनरल पर्पज डेटा स्टोरेज दिस फीचर अलाउज यू टू स्टोर यूजर डिफाइंड डेटा इन डी एस वन थ्री जीरो टू मॉड्यूल इवन इफ द मेन पावर इज इंटरप्टेड प्रोवाइडेड अ बैकअप पावर सोर्स इज कनेक्टेड Size of this memory is 31 bytes. The SRAM can be used to store user specific data such as configuration setting, state information or any other custom data that needs to persist even when the main supply is lost. And the backup power as with the RTC functionality, the SRAM contents are retained using a backup battery or capacitor through the trickle charge circuit. So we have come across much of theory. Now we will see the practical example how we can use the DS one three zero two module to get the time and date using an Arduino. We will see two practical examples here: one with serial monitor output, another with LCD screen output. So first, let us discuss about the serial monitor output program, and then we will come across the LCD output program. This is the circuit diagram for serial monitor output. We have taken an Arduino connection is very simple. The 5 volt connects at the VCC pin. The ground connects at the ground pin. The clock pin connects to pin number four. The data pin connects to pin number three, and the reset pin connects through pin number two. And we will connect a 2032 battery for the backup power. So very simple connection. Now we will see the Arduino sketch for using the module with Arduino. So this is our sketch. This sketch will be used to display the date and time into the serial monitor. Let me briefly describe the Arduino sketch. Initially, we have taken one library that is Virtual Botix RTC. H. I'll give this library link for download. Then we have created an object My RTC of type Virtual Botix RTC. It takes three parameters. The first parameter is the clock pin. Second parameter is the data or I/O pin, and third parameter is the reset pin. You can change these pins. as per your need so here you can see the clock pin is pin number 4 data pin is pin number 3 reset pin is pin number 2 as per your circuit requirement you can change it now in the setup section we have initiated the serial communication to 9600 baud rate and then we have called the function set ds1302 time of my rtc object and we have set seven parameters in this function the first one is the second second one is the minutes third one it's the hours fourth one is the day of the week fifth one is the day of month sixth one is the month and seventh one is the year so for one time only we need to set these values to the rtc module we will take these values from the current system date and time and for one time we will set this in the rtc next time onwards this section will be commented out it is not required to upload every time we upload sketch to the arduino Then in the loop section we have updated the my rtc object and in the serial monitor we have printed the date that is day of month month year hour minute and seconds and then we have given a delay for 1 second so that it updates after every second and we have written a small function here this function is nothing very important it is used to format the digit when it is a single digit it returns the single digit with a leading zero just to format the date and time so you can see it's a very simple code we will just upload it to our arduino we will connect the arduino and after uploading it we will see the output in the serial monitor so let's go to the practical example first we will connect the arduino and then we will upload the sketch so here is the circuit we have built although we have shown the circuit on arduino you know we are using an arduino nano here we have used the ds1302 module here and here is the battery so first we will insert the battery into this module so we have connected the battery now we will connect the arduino with our computer the power led is on it is connected with the computer now we will upload the sketch So here is the practical setup and the code side by side. First we need to change the date and time in the Arduino sketch. 
the initial date and time that we are going to set here here we will change it the date is 2 month is 5 year is 2024 and current time is set set 0 this one we are setting 19 and this is 14 right now 220 pm so we are uh, setting it like this and now we will upload the sketch to the arduino see the sketch is uploading you can see and now it is uploaded uploading is done so we are opening the serial monitor now you can see the date and time is showing side by side so we need to give a line break between this but this time we will not upload the time and date we will comment it out because it is already uploaded in the ds1302 module here we will add a print ln so that it creates a new line after this output now we will upload the sketch uploading done now you see in the serial monitor after every second it is showing the current date and time now we can use this date and time for any of our application we have just simply shown it into the serial monitor now i will show you that this module retains the time even if the main power is disconnected so you can see the time and data is moving now i will remove the main power it's showing not connected arduino has been removed we will clear the serial monitor now again i will connect the power line here see as soon as i connected it starts showing the current date and time so the current date and time is not removed from the ds1302 module so it is very easy to interface this module with arduino you can use it into any of your projects now if i remove this battery the time will erase so let me show you that i am removing the main power here let's uh, bring the half and half screen clearing the serial output now i am removing the battery i removed the battery then i am connecting the arduino power you can see the date is zero time is zero now even if i fit the battery it will not fetch the old time back i have again to upload the time in the sketch and then it will show the date and time so i am not uploading the date and time here in this program we will move on to the next program that is our output to lcd program and in that we will again upload the time and see if you have any confusion till now you can freely ask me in the comment i'll definitely try to clear your confusion now move on to the next example now we will look into the practical example of using ds1302 module for getting the output into an lcd display here we are using an lcd module that is 16 by 2 lcd module it is fitted with an i2c module so we can transfer the data only using two wires through the scl and sda pin there are two types of LCD modules sold in the market. One is fitted with I2C module and one without the I2C module. So whenever you purchase the display, LCD display, uh, please purchase it with the I2C module. It costs a little higher, but it is very easier to interface with. So here is the LCD module and this is the DS1302 module. As in the previous example where we see the serial connection, the DS1302 module is connected to pin number 2, 3 and 4. And now we have connected the SDA pin of the LCD module to Arduino's analog pin number 4 and the SCL connection with analog pin number 5. And we have given the power from the 5 volt and ground pin. So this connection is also very simple. Now we will discuss about the Arduino sketch and then we will see the practical example. Now we will see our second example that is how to take the output into an LCD module from the DS1302 module. So here we have use three libraries the wire.h library is included in arduino setup so you need not to uh, include that in your projects we need one library that is liquid crystal i2c and virtual botics rtc this library we have used in our previous example and for this library liquid crystal or i2c i'll give the link for download now again the same setup for virtual botics rtc we will set the pins and then for liquid crystal i2c we need to define the i2c address and the size of the led so for our lcd display we are using the address 0 into 3f some lcd modules use the address 0x27 so you have to check which i2c code your module supports now in the setup section we have started the serial monitor we have set the date and time object we have begun the i2c communication into the i2c address this first we will check if the lcd is connected or not so if lcd is connected that lcd will be initialized or then or if lcd is not found it will display in the serial monitor then in the void loop function first we will clear the lcd 
then we will turn on the LCD backlight and then we will update the time. Then in the LCD we will set the cursor at 00, 0 position and then print the date and time. First we will print the date then we will set the cursor to second line and then print the time. Then again one second delay and again reprint. And we have discussed about this function just to add a leading zero in a single digit number. So this code is also very simple. Now we will upload this into the Arduino and then we will see what output comes into the LCD. So let's move on to the practical demonstration. This one is the LCD module. I think I need not to introduce LCD module to you. All of you are aware of an LCD module. And what I was saying that uh, it is fitted with an I2C module. This is the I2C module. It also has the contrast adjustment of the LCD module and it only works with four wires only two for the power and two for the data transfer so with this i2c module fitted it is very easy to communicate with the lcd module as i said there are lcd modules with and without the i2c if you do not have the i2c module fitted already you can purchase one i2c module separately and connect it with the lcd module so that the wiring becomes easier now we will fit the lcd module with the arduino first we will connect the positive power supply then the negative power supply see as i connected the power supply the lcd turned on it is tilting a little so i need to give something below it so that it remains straight okay here i i am using a pen now i am connecting the data pin to analog pin 4 of the arduino and the serial clock pin to the analog pin 5 of the arduino so our connection is complete now we will divide the screen again half and half. This is the program for the I2C LCD display. Now we will adjust the time and date. So, so date is here 2-5-2024. It's okay. Now we will adjust the time. It's uh, 2 p.m. And it's about 36 minutes. So we change it. And now we will upload the sketch. Uploading is done. You see, as soon as I uploaded the sketch, the time here is showing. The date is 2-5-2024 and time is 2-36. It's counting. So, let me bring it to the full screen. So, the DS1302 is giving time to the LCD display. Now, I will show you by removing the main power once. So, remove the power. Everything is turned off. The RTC module is counting the time in the background since the backup power is given. Now giving back the power and just with the power the time also came back. It's very easy to connect all these things and you can do it yourself. If you have any confusion for this project please feel free to ask me in the comments. I'll definitely try to clear your confusion. If you have any suggestion also you can give me in the comments. So today up to this we will meet again in a new video. If you like my video, please hit the like button. Have a nice time. Thank you for watching my video. Bye-bye.